Merry Christmas, and welcome to Billy Reviews Stuff. Today we're looking at Figura Obscura, Father Christmas from Four Horsemen Toy Designs. Let's take a look. So this dropped last week, and it is a exclusive to Store Horsemen. This will be the only way you get this version. Uh, there may there may be a retail version in the future, much like their Krampus figure from Figure Obscura. Um, let's take a look inside. Oh, it's like Christmas cracking this thing open. Okay. The street wrap's tough. There we go. It's got a magnetic covering on it with that sweet Nate Birch art. Classic Yule Tide right there. Wonderful stuff on the back, and it even has Rick Kretz, everybody involved. If you can see that, we got Eric Treadway, Jim, Corn Boy, Chris Garwich, George Gaspar, some guy named Jeremy Gerard, uh, Sherry Cook, Bill Mancuso, Cameron Smith, Joe Vasapolo, ah, Nate Barch on the art, Trevor Williams with photography, and Soft Goods with C. Jessam. Okay. You slide that back right here and see that. Stay right. Come on. There we go. Merry Christmas. And that is an excellent looking figure in there. heat up before you use them and fiddle with joints and loosen them up. If you don't follow the instructions, it's your own fault. Oh my god, I hate twist ties with a passion. Okay, the one thing I tell everybody about this, there is one very delicate item in here, and it's this trumpet. And I've seen some people on the Cabal have issues with breaking it or having it come out snapped. Uh, push in the little plastic tabs. It's holding it in there. They're strong as F. And there you go. You got a little horn. All right. A little bit of Christmas magic. His head's back on. Now, let's take a look at some of these accessories, which I am super excited about. One, we have a very detailed lantern and very solidly constructed got the get that plastic in there painted candle and a pretty sturdy little little ring there put that on his uh father christmas cane good uh we have an elf doll gotta gotta love that Little classically made doll there. 
You can go in uh, the little bucket. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. We have a drum. Drum a tum tum. Okay. Which goes on his belt with a very fine hook. Very small, very fine. Still something you need to be careful with, much like the trumpet. Stay. Uh, we have a satchel of other toys. Very detailed on there. Let's see the light on that a little bit better. Yeah. Bear, a ball, a yo-yo, a lion, nutcracker, another horn, candy cane, drumsticks. I wish they were removable. And, ah, a book. Maybe it's the naughty and nice list. Don't know where I fall on that. Eh, well, I'll fiddle with that in a minute. Uh, got two... Garland, reefs, some sort of uh, holly. I think it's holly. A little bit of the Christmas stuff there. Uh, a second head sculpt of a shorter bearded Santa. I know a lot of people want to put this on like a 1.0 body to make a beefier Santa. Or a, a thicker Santa. Some people had where they weren't. Excited about the prospect of having a 2.0 body, but with all the soft goods on here, which are amazing. Wired, 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 wired down here. Uh, he beefs up from that. And I got an idea to kind of beef him up a little bit more. That I might do at the end of the video. And a Christmas tree. A log, Yule log right there, and this goes together. If you go with the twist of the wire there, you should just be able to twist it into this hole. You just got to be very careful with it still. Uh, less with the tree, more with the log. Let's see here. Go with the threading. Maybe. There we go. That's good enough. And a little unpickupable snowdrift. There we go. Boom. Christmas tree. Uh, also, we have the sack of goodies. Which have two surprises from the Four Horsemen in there. Two extra accessories. The Krampus from last year came with uh, a 1.0 skull, a 2.0 skull, and 1.0 uh, hands that you could have sticking out of his uh, child basket. His kidnapped child basket. Uh, this one comes with a wolf toy. A little stuffed wolf right there and a new helmet sculpt very nice very pointy it fits on a 1.0 neck peg but i've also seen people put this on the brute scale torso for a farious a centaur i like how the holes are different on both sides and a duck. Everyone loves a duck. And another helmet. I like it. Looks like a frog. See how far it sticks back there. It kind of reminds me of the... Uh, 
what is it? The 2.0 Steel Knight Builder. Kind of scaled up there and a little bit different. And if you had where you got the all-in or, you know, didn't and then had regrets, uh, spent more money, spent more money on shipping because you have to have all the pieces and all the stuff to figure obscure because you have OCD about it. Uh, you also could get a sweet mug. It's larger than most. Holds a lot of coffee. And if I can find it, a Father Christmas pin that will disappear into your other figure to your mugs, which is very detailed. I know George is a super fan of pins, and I feel like this is the reason these exist still. And uh, they're 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 pretty cool. Back in the cramp smoke. Uh, and also with. I think, I think every order except the pin, you receive a Christmas card. You could also order these by themselves in a tin pack, and it is great looking. I have the ones from Krampus last year still. Uh, even if you don't use Christmas cards, they're neat to put on your shelf just to display and everything, and it has that great Nate Birch art on there on the front. And a headshot. So, through the magic of Christmas, Christmas magic, I have a second Father Christmas. And this is what he is underneath all those robes. A skinny 2.0 body, uh, flat brown on everything but the boots, because the boots will be seen through the bottom of the skirt. And he has a 2.0 to 1.0 neck peg. Or this head, so you can stick all sorts of 1.0 heads on there. This is hilarious. This is ridiculous. I love the size of this helmet on this tiny little body. And I know what some people said. Oh no, no one likes a skinny Santa. So everybody got a uh, got holiday plans? Gonna gonna go out of town or something? Enjoy it, vacation, stuff like that. Good for you. Just pop out the tiny little hands, and you can pull. Oh Lord, my poor fingers. Ah, arthritis is not fun, guys. Okay, you're going back in there. There we go. And then, while it's still malleable, pop in a pair of 1.0 hands on either side. Uh, these are from the Alithia Wave. Uh, as far as I know, they're still on in stock at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I ordered some brown ones. All I have is the black ones from when I ordered from the Alithia Wave. Ew. This crotch piece went into the water. Eh, whatever. Go over it. And let's see here. <laughs> you can place the 1.0 boots that came with the Alithia, Alithia hand and feet pack in there as well. Take your time and be careful.
get in the shoe. There we go. Let that cool down for a bit and pop some robes back on him. More Christmas magic. Yeah, I think the 1.0 hands and feet make it look a lot beefier with the cloak. I think that works out great compared to the 2.0 hands and 2.0 feet. And if you have any issues with hands, I saw that a little the other day in the cabal. Uh, you should definitely warm them up and wiggle this if it feels tight or if it doesn't feel like it's gonna give don't force it again these these are collector's toys so you've been warned but uh with everything else i think uh, this is an excellent release from the four horsemen for figure obscura uh pairs great with krampus which I don't know where mine is right now. Been moving things around, rearranging. But uh, maybe I'll throw some comparison photos at the end of this video. Or not. But Merry Christmas. Uh, have a Happy New Year. Uh, later, guys. Bye.